Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought that I would do a bit of a cosy weekend vlog. Um, we don't actually know what we've got planned. We don't have any fixed plans. Um, and it has been miserable winter for the past like, well, all of July has just been rain constantly. Um, today it's looking like there's gonna be a bit of a break in the rain. Tomorrow I think it's gonna rain anyway. So I thought I would just film little bits and bobs of our cozy weekend, um, see what we end up doing. I think we are going to go out for brunch now. Um, we've got a bit of a short list because we don't know where it's gonna have tables free for us because we've not booked anywhere. So we're just gonna have a bit of a mooch around, um, go through our little short list and see where her space for us. We'll see where we end up. Hello, no such luck at that place. There was a queue ridiculously long so we are going to the next place on the list which is a place called Finley and Sons where they look like they do the most filthy eggs benedict with a hash brown and like a slab of bacon so I'm getting absolutely starving so I think no matter how long the queue is we are just going to sit and wait mm. I'm excited we're nearly there bye <laughs> A flatty and a dirty dry latte and a happy day cake. just done a little bit of shopping in a deli um i might do a haul when i get home of the sort of bougie unnecessary things that we bought mm. i think we're just heading back to the car now are we i think so yeah and then i think the... there's a um, there's a nice wine shop coming up oh yeah Jake and we're gonna buy wine. my professor a bottle of sparkling red wine if i can sparkling shiraz it's beautiful into... this is the deli that we've just been to black pig deli and then i think we're going for a walk in the countryside somewhere, if not rain, decided where. If the rain holds off. Eh, we've got raincoats, we'll get them anyway. <laughs> Hello, we've just popped back to um, pop all of the shopping away. So I thought I would quickly show you what we've got and then we're going to rush out. So, we got a nice bottle of wine. This is the Peppermint Paddock um, and it is a sparkling, what is it? Sparkling Chamborchin. Chamborchin Graciano. I don't know what it is, but it's a sparkling red wine, um, which I think we're going to have tonight. We are finally completed on our um, house sale back in the UK. So that is a complete stress off our shoulders. So we wanted to celebrate with something. So we've got that nice bottle of wine. And we went to that, what did I say it was called? The Black Pig Deli. And we got this really cool like market bag that's a cool bag. It's got a zip around the top. And I just thought it would be perfect for like, yeah, you know, when you need to go to the beach, you just need to shove in loads of things and like drinks and snacks and things or for picnics or barbecues at the beach and things. So it would be perfect. Um, it was only $30, so good. Um, so we've got a baguette from the North Street Deli. Oh, it smells so good. Which I'm so excited to eat. We got, which I've already started to drink, a green smoothie. Just... I mean, you can already tell this is a very strange haul, but I just thought I'd show you, I got excited. We went to General Public and got, which is a pizza place, which we love, um, and got a couple of donuts, which look, again, amazing. They're um, lemon curd. And then we got some dried chipotle chilies. So I'm gonna make a chili con carne this weekend. We've got a load of kangaroo mints. So I'm gonna make a chili kang carne. <laughs> One of my favourite things about cooking with kangaroo is making the puns. Like, I also make a really nice kangaroo. So good. I got some red harissa because it's really hard to find harissa paste in the supermarkets. One of the kangaroo recipes that I make is marinating it in the um, in harissa paste first. And then you put it with a like chickpea mash on the side and it is just beautiful. It's really hard to find good harissa, so I picked that up. Also from General Public, we just got a loaf of sourdough um, which oh, smells so good um, and we've got a camembert in the fridge as well so I think we'll have that at some point 
And then, last but not least, we went to a cute little like boutique clothes shop um, and picked up this candle, which is called Kit by Posy, and it's lemon myrtle and campfire. And one of my favorite smells in the entire world, I just can't get enough of it, is like wood fire. Oh, it's just so nice. It's so like homely, um, like really reminds me of home because my parents have a log burner and it's just so nice. It's yeah, my favorite smell ever. So we got that and I cannot wait to burn that on like a rainy evening. I think, yeah, that's everything that's in this huge bag. Oh, and it says, touch pear on it. I don't know why, but it's cute. Bye. Oh, the last thing I got that I forgot to show you was just some interesting tonics. Um, I really like this brand. So it's a hint of sea salt, citrus and coastal herbs. Isn't that delicious? I assume so anyway. Um, I actually really enjoy having just a tonic on its own, even if I'm not fancy in the gin. So look forward to tucking into these. Oh, this is so annoying. We've literally just come in to like dump our stuff. Put these on. Um, and it's just started raining and now we're like, oh, I don't know whether it's worth going out or not like it keeps saying oh it's not gonna rain all day and then last minute they're like oh hang on it's raining right now okay it's so like, there's no like there's no way of planning it it's so annoying um so i don't really know what we're gonna do we're a bit lost now look at this absolute wretch wearing his slippers just so you know this is jake i'm not just gonna be being really rude about people <laughs> imagine yeah he's also he's got shoes in the car Raj. Okay, we've decided to brave it. We're going to Les Murdy Falls. If it rains, it rains. We've got our waterproofs and things, so we should be fine. And I'm just, mm. I've been like, we're boring you. Mm, yeah. No, no. Someone's hung over. Yeah, I've just been like running up the walls recently, being like, I want to go play, I want to go explore. So, yeah. <laughs> Get yourself at home. Nice little drive with a bit of uh, Billie Eilish on with her new album, which we are loving. Um, we'll be there in 30. See you there. We've arrived. Uh, we've just parked up and look at that view. You can see the city. It's so cute how it looks like a little toy city, like in the middle of the rest of like the flat land. Um, and we can hear the waterfalls. So off we go to find them. tears not because I'm emotional because it's windy um, but this is super spectacular like it's amazing so we've had for a bit of context we've had I think 29 days out of the last 30 have rained um, and it has been like unbelievable rainfall so I think the waterfall is probably about as full as it gets I would say so it's a very good day to come yeah I'm just I'm obsessed with the fact that you can see like how nice it looks. Actually, it looks like it's raining over there. So cool. Uh oh, it's doing a big rain. Big, big rain. quite a bit of a big rain, actually. Oh no. Oh no, it's getting quite rainy. Oh, in case there's a um, thunder and lightning. Yeah. And then we'll go kaput. Oh well, make the um, waterfall a bit more interesting. We also don't know if we're going the right way, so. It's all very nice. Although Jake took us the wrong way. I didn't take you the wrong way. <laughs> and it took us to that, which you absolutely can't get over, so. Back on ourselves we go. We'll find our way eventually. There is a road there, so we're not completely lost. <laughs> Bother, the water levels are so high that um, it's cut off the path across the river thingy. So we're having to sort of wander back 
on ourselves and see where we end up. Oh, a bit of a hill. It's a lovely day again now. Don't know what all the fuss was about. Forgive my panting, we've just been up a hill, but I'm sure that's heavier, like the waterfall's fuller than we were on the way down. So cool. We've stopped at the shoulder lookout. We've got donuts and we've got a pretty view. Evening, we are a few hours later. I've had a bit of a chilled one. Um, Jake went for a nap because he's hungover and I sat and did some accounting um, of all of our finances. Um, and now I am very much in my snuggly clothes. I wanted to give a shout out to my bag, which I've bought from H&M. Um, this is the one I mentioned it in a haul video that I really wanted to buy it as a beach bag and had not been able to find it in Australia. And it is now in Australia and it's in my hand and I'm obsessed with it. Like I cannot wait to wear this with you know a full beachy outfit to the beach or filled with picnic stuff or whatever it is um but for now it's got my uh it's got my uggs in ready to go to a friend's house for a takeaway and some wine so yeah see you later <laughs> happy sunday we had a lovely night last night just went to my friend's house and had a chinese takeaway and a bottle of wine got a bit of a headache this morning so we are in bed we have love island set up on the projector um i've got a coffee and yeah we're just gonna have a chilled one and also the weather is absolutely miserable so i don't think we'll be doing too much um maybe a bit of cooking maybe a bit of a food shop or something um nothing too interesting hee 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 i've got a little toasty brie toasty and we've still got this on and it is going off hello i'm finally ready and dressed and got makeup on um i'm just about to film a youtube video i know it's a main channel video i don't have two separate channels um, but yeah going to film a sit down video and i just thought i would show you if you think i've got a professional setup which you probably don't but this is my tripod setup. Um, a lovely ironing board and a teeny tiny little tripod. <laughs> so funny, so unprofessional. But yeah, here we go. Oh, all done filming, that actually went pretty well. And I remembered to take the thumbnail picture, which is literally the thing that I always forget and have to take like a last minute selfie and it's horrible. I tried to film that exact video last week and it was so infuriating. I was in like, you know when you're on the verge of a really bad mood and I filmed it and it took 45 minutes to film and then I had a look at the footage afterwards and it had only filmed two minutes and then my phone had turned off and I was fuming <laughs> but thankfully I was in a much better mood to film it today so that actually worked out better because you know when you can just tell that someone's like on the precipice of a little strop that was me last week but yeah the weather is still horrific it is horrible because we live quite high up in this apartment building we literally are like inside a cloud um so it's super misty and miserable and you can just see the rain like moving so quickly it's horrible so i think we're gonna go do a grocery shop go to kmart maybe i need a new pillow and just have a little bit of a mooch and then back home probably gym and cook a nice dinner i think miserable <laughs> exciting conveniently just as we were um getting in the car we got a text from the optician to say that our glasses are available um so we've been to pick up our new glasses um and whilst we're in town we're having a tiny tiny weenie baby mooch we came in chilled from the rain um i've just tried on this dress it's absolutely beautiful but i just oh, i actually really like it on camera now oh no it's in the sale i'm just not sure that i would get the wear out of it because it's not very um it's a bit dressy what do we think <laughs>
we're at Coles now. We're gonna do the TikTok pasta dish at some point this Thank week you. so we get into better. <laughs> this is the best fruit juice in the world. Also, the proximity to Asia really serves us well for Asian ingredients, and these are one of my favourite things. They tie together my obsession with super noodles and my obsession with ramen. So, Yum. don't mind all of the stuff in the uh, <laughs> sink with messes at the weekend and in between. Um, so, with the artichoke, you wash it really, really well and then make sure that there's a little bit of water in a bowl. Cover it with cling film, put it in the microwave for 10 minutes, and then marvellous things happen. And it's a really good, like, snack for um, you know, like a weekend mid-afternoon snack because you've eaten weird stuff. Eventually. This is really hilarious hearing you like, because I'm a whole relationship, you're like, I've got 20-20 vision, I don't need glasses. I have them alright. I'm better than everyone Hold else. Hold on, where's the, uh, where's the camera? I'm just going to show them. So, this is my, this is my right eye. Right eye, left eye. Some hilarious context for this <laughs> is that Jake has never been to the auditions. <laughs> so this is why he's like, is it better or worse? One or two? So look, that was like barely any magnification through the right eye. Then through the left <laughs> eye, it's absolutely crazy. Okay, hi. Um, I wanted to show you our new glasses. Well, you've seen Jake's and how excited he is about them. <laughs> literally taking pictures of himself in the bathroom with them on at the moment. Um, so these are my sunglasses, which are very, very similar. I had a pair of just normal sunglasses from Gander and these are very similar, but prescription, which is very exciting. And then my normal glasses, are they in here? I feel like I'm not in love with them yet, but they will grow on me. And I think it's just because they're a bit different, but they're a bit lighter. Um, I wanted something because I'm so blonde, like my old glasses were very dark and stark on my face. Um, whereas I think these are a little bit more delicate. I don't know if they age me a little bit, but you can let me know. What do you think? Um, what else did I do? Oh yeah, and then I was going to show you the clothes that Jake bought because we stopped off at David Jones to show off from the rain. I don't know if anyone cares about this. I did try on that white dress and then watching that um, clip back, I actually, not the white dress, the black and white spotty one. And I do really love it looking back at the clips, but I didn't love it in person. But I can imagine it all dressed up and it would look beautiful. So I'll see if I'm still thinking about it in a couple of days, I might go back and get it. But yeah, Jake got this nice long sleeve striped top with a pocket. It's from a brand called Jag which I said looks like the sort of brand for like men who read, like men who read and have been to Copenhagen once. Not I do or have. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that sort of vibe. He got these beautiful shorts, which are like a dark navy linen from a brand called Academy. And these I said would look amazing. They're quite like French Riviera vibe, like white linen shirt just rolled up to like here, opening a bottle of wine. Lovely stuff, lovely. Or, with the stripy shirt, punting around um, Oxford or Cambridge. Not that we <laughs> live in England anymore, but you know. Um, and then last but not least, he got this snuggly, snuggly sweatshirt jumper, which I'm never gonna wear. Lies, all lies. And he's got pockets. And that's all the shopping. <laughs> I think I'm delirious. Right, last check time. Okay, and then you mix together, and this looks so gross because it's the end of the um, bottle, but this is aioli and balsamic glaze mixed together, just like random amounts. Or you can use normal mayo. And then you peel off the little petals and that little white bit's edible. And then you dip it in the sauce. Scrape it off with your teeth, done. I don't know if I'm yeah. literally teaching grandma how to suck eggs. I'll suck avocados. Avocados, hey? Ostrichs. 
Just your grandma to suck artichokes. Yeah. But I didn't know how to do this until Lily Pebbles told me. Um, and it changed my life. It is the best Saturday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, little snackaroonie. Come up to the roof terrace for a drink at sunset. So pretty. I'm just gonna make dinner, but first I need to tidy up all of this mess. So I'm making the basics with babish um, chili, and we've got I've got a whole ton of kangaroo mints. So we're making chili kang carne, um, and we got these dried chipotle chilies from um, the Black Pig Deli yesterday, and. They smell so good. I'm wondering what this little ghost is. <laughs> no word like good to store a French stick, so it's going in my corner. <laughs> cool. I've broken up all of the chilies now. Um, I just need to. I'm just going to roast them. Um, and so that I can make a sort of chilli paste from them. And I've just taken out all of the seeds so it doesn't fall our heads off. I think I might save them to sort of sprinkle on other meals. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, I've just been to the gym, been to the sauna, which is why I am very pink. Um, and finished off making dinner, which is a chilli can carne. <laughs> as in kangaroo mints um and it looks insane i made the um chili paste for it from dried chilies and it is honestly just made it and i'm about to cover it in cheese like jake has um and we've got guac as well um i'll show you the chili paste so that's the remnants of the chili paste it is absolutely brutal like if you were to lick that i think you would like literally die on the spot um but yeah <laughs> i'm very excited about making that um and then i think we are just going to yeah have dinner chill watch some tv um and then call it a night so thank you so much for watching this little weekend um i've really enjoyed it actually it's been a really good one considering mm. we had no plans whatsoever um we yeah really made the most of it and it was really nice and really chilled so Thank you for coming along and we will see you next time. Goodbye.